now, there is a completely new type of light that opens up a new dimension. These surfaces light up all by themselves, without the need for bulbs or LEDs. They create no glare, just a sense of well-being. All points on the object are equally bright, no matter what angle they are viewed from. The secret behind this is electroluminescent coatings manufactured using a screen printing process. Electroluminescent light helps to create a mood. It helps us to relax, lifts our spirits, and enables us to tap into our creative side. A new style of living, thanks to a long-established area of physics. The principle of electroluminescence was discovered in Paris in 1936 by the French physicist Destriau by accident. What he actually wanted to do was find out how a metal compound with zinc sulfide could conduct electricity. Working in his laboratory in Paris, Destriau created strong electrical fields near the metal. And then, suddenly, it lit up. The reason for this was that the zinc sulfide was contaminated with copper. When Destria witnessed that first electroluminescent light, he could certainly never have imagined the consequences this discovery would have or what we would be able to do with it more than 70 years later. This is a detailed image of what a luminescent surface looks like today. Two coatings of electrically conductive plastic form a pair of electrodes similar to those in a plate capacitor. Between these coatings is zinc sulfide that, as in Destriel's experiment, contains metallic additives such as copper. When an AC voltage is applied, an electrical field is created. This causes the metal additives to become electrically charged. At their tips, they discharge in a series of flashes, and that's what creates electroluminescent light. At an AC voltage of 110 volts at 400 hertz, this technology generates 16 flashes of light per second. The human eye perceives these flashes as a pleasant glow. The plastic luminescent layer has rubber-like properties. It can be applied to angular, uneven, and soft substrates. The luminescent layer is usually printed on a plastic substrate. This is then molded into the required shape. This means a tried and tested industrial process can be used to add decoration to high quality objects. To this end, the sensitive films are processed using a newly developed compressed air method known as high pressure forming. This operates at a pressure 300 times that of atmospheric pressure. The first prototypes for industrial applications have already been developed. Take this study of a car of the future. The trim panels glow in a range of different colors. In this instance, the initial prototypes include luminescent elements in an interior door panel. Electroluminescent lighting allows furniture to transcend its purely functional role and create a specific ambience. In the world of advertising, the content of a poster can be accentuated using electroluminescent lighting. One thing is clear, this development heralds a new chapter in the story of light.